up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. Thank you so much for hanging out for another Beatles lesson. This time, some soloing. And also from John Lennon, which is very cool. All the licks and tricks from Get Back. Uh, thanks for supporting Marty Music. Clicking the bell next to subscribe helps me as well. Let's learn the tune. All right, so most of the time in the Beatles, George Harrison's doing the lead stuff, but this song is actually John Lennon, and it's all nice A bluesy stuff, kind of mixes the major minor pentatonic together. Let's start with the very first little lick you're gonna need. It's mostly, you can either think of this as the A major pentatonic or even like the A BB box, because really they're, they're doing the same thing. So you got the root A, that we're gonna focus on right here on the 10th fret of the B string. And then middle finger, you're gonna focus on the 11th fret of the G. And then we have a little box. So you'd go up to the 12th fret on the B, and then you bend that up. And then your pinky grabs 12th of the high E. So this little run, going to repeat in different themes throughout the song in the lead part. So check it out. We got John Lennon's playing that. Then he goes up to D. And he just does a little fill in between his rhythm part. Now I already taught all the rhythm parts to this song, so check it out on YouTube. But he's mixing it together. And so what he's doing is he's doing that A Chuck Berry style thing. A. D, three, four, da, boo, da, boo, da, 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 da. Um, right into it, right? So he's sliding into 11 of the G, 10 of the B. Right at 12, you start to bend up, and then you grab that 12 of the high E right there. While you're still holding that bend. Then you let the bend come down. Then you hit the 10 again. And then the 11 again on the G. So you'd have. And then there's a little open E. Whether I don't know if he does it on purpose or not into right into the rhythm again. So check it out. And he does that twice. So he does that twice. Then, I guess we'd call this the chorus, get back. And he's playing this really, this thing I always liked even before I played guitar. I always, uh, was one of my favorite guitar parts. And that's following over an A chord and a D chord. And it's really, once again, mostly from the A major pentatonic, but kind of mixing it together. So over the A chord, you know, and then So we're gonna be playing this little run from the A major pentatonic. And it works over the A and the D chord. So we're sliding, I'm thinking of it as sliding from seven to nine with my ring finger on the E string. But you can slide it from farther back. You know. <laughs> Beautiful little box right there. Seven, nine, but slide. Then seven, nine, seven. Then we're playing this little D7 shape of A7. Watch, I'll count it up. D7, E7, F7, G7, A7 triad. So that's 9th uh, fret and 9th fret on the high E. And then 8th fret on the B. Just like that. So you do the lick. And then you do it again. Then it goes to the D chord in the progression, 
You do the run the same, and then we're grabbing a piece of D7, this A-shaped D7 right here, but we're just gonna grab this little piece. And so I'm just barring across from D over on the seventh fret and middle fingers on the eighth fret of the high E. So, so far, And then George, John, and then he goes back in to that little BB box zone. And each time he does this, he's definitely improvising. I don't think he would ever play it the exact same way, but he's definitely uh, doing that same that we did before, but he's going. So he's doing little syncopations on that root, and it's from the, uh, you know, 11 slide on, on the G. And then you're hitting one natural on the 12. So you bend that up, you grab that 12 with the high E. You hit it again up, and then hear it come down. And that 11G back to the A, so. Gotta keep going, but we're gonna go right back to this little BB box, go over those licks. All right, so they vary a lot, but the first one. So, boo da 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 da. But it's a 12 bend. Hold it. Now it goes to a D chord. It's that same run that we did for A, but it's scooted over. So we're sliding from wherever you want, but basically think of it as seven to nine. Then on the D string, seven to nine, then seven on the G. It's a lot of these little out of tune bends that sound really great actually. That one too. So we go and we're going, we just slide down to five and then seven on the D. And once again, there's little nudgy bends. I like to, that's what I like to call them. All right, all the little techniques from the, st from the beginning. Here we go, A, then D, then the little fill. And then the second time through, he goes to into this. D, A. George goes G, D. So you can think, always think of the lick the same, but you hear those little variations, even have a little fun with it, but it basic, more or less is the same thing. You know, sometimes it's straight, sometimes he's like, duh, 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 right? All just characteristics so you can feel that it's a human being, right? fun lick right there. Starts with a little 
You can think of it as the A minor pentatonic, but with a little, ah, a little different note right there. Um, it's a little bend on the seventh fret B, half step bend, and then it goes to the natural fifth fret of the B. And you skip over to the root, which is seven of the D, so. Then five of the G. And it's fast. Then the second phrase is, which is just a little half step bend on that seventh G. And then five, then seven of the D back to five of the G. You put that together. what you get. I'm going to show you uh, also a cool double stop run that, that is more, it's what um, Billy Preston's doing on keyboards, uh, but it's a really cool lick. I like it a lot. And then also some more variations up here in, in this part afterwards. Um, so something that's going on is, you know, it goes, get back to where you once belong, or once belong. And it's a D chord and the keyboard does a cool. And so you can just think of it as like a little uh, little D major triad there. So 11 G and 10 high E. And you slide into them. We're not playing the B string. Same thing, a whole step down. Then I just bar the seventh fret G high E. And then that down a whole step. So this shape down a whole step. And then you go a half step down and it's this shape a whole step. Uh, so that's one thing. Then later on, when he gets more freaky with the uh, the, the verses, he just mixes up. He does this, that one, but then he mixes it up by doing that funky one right here. So just little things like that. I already taught you the lick, but just listen to the song you'll hear. He mixes that up. And then another thing that happens is when he goes back up into uh, into this little spot, this little run, this little boxing. You know, he's doing a lot of variations, but he does, he does this little thing. Or all in that major pentatonic thing, but. So I'm just bending up that B string 12th fret and then releasing to the natural root on the 10th of the B. And then the next one is bend to natural, then 11 G back to 10 B. Sound familiar? A little BB, uh, BB style there? Sure, they met at some point. Um, so those are all most of the tastiest things. You 
know, you got the keyboards and all that, and you got some new variations up here, and you get to go. <laughs> All right, I hope you had fun with it. Lots of uh, major pentatonic, a little bit of blues, a little bit of minor pentatonic. Got a lot of courses like that at martymusic.com, just in case you were wondering. Thank you again, and uh, feel free to leave requests in the comments below. Love if you'd like and subscribe, all that stuff. Take care. See you later.